When you come to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. The quitter will never take you down the road you want to travel. I believe we all have a winner in us. There is a winner inside of you. Sometimes we just have been around negativity for way too long. Develop the mindset of a winner. The truth is, most people give up on their dream. Most people give up on their dream to live the average lifestyle. But it really doesn't matter what most people do. What do you do? Because you are different. You will never give up on your dream. You will never not listen to the average. You will always listen to the winner in you. You will believe in yourself when no one else does. You will believe in yourself when you have no reason to believe. And you will never, ever quit. I know some of you are going through a rough time right now. Some of you are going through the fight of your life. Fighting for your future, fighting for your career, fighting for your family. Some of you are fighting for your life. And I'm telling you, don't quit. Do not give in. I know life can be tough. I know life can wear you down. But if you just stick it out, even if you don't get the result you will find, the character you show will be your reward. The fighting spirit you develop will be the reward. And it will serve you well for the rest of your life. Fight for what you want now or fight against what you don't want later. You choose. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare settle. Don't you dare get back down. Not today or any other day. When the tough moments come, never forget you are in that moment writing your own legacy. In that tough moment, you are setting the standard for your character. Do you have the character? Well, do you? When you come up to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. When you make a commitment to yourself, you make sure you see it through. Never, ever quit. Even if you don't get the result, you will find the character you show will be your reward. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare ever settle. And don't you dare ever back down. Fight for what you want or fight against what you don't want at a later time. And always know that God is right there with you. Just allow God to guide and direct you. And you will always be a winner. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. Also, you can find us on YouTube channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. Folks, what you're going to hear are ducks, chicks, and chickens in my background early this morning at 530 I want to talk about five uh, types of toxic people that you really don't need in your life anymore. And this is a very uh, personal uh, story that I want to share. Our relationships impact us more than we realize, whether they're casual, romantic, or friendly. The people we choose to surround ourselves with can change who we are, both positively and negatively. If you're feeling unhappy this morning or you have a poor outlook on life, it can actually be the result of one or some of the relationships in your lives. If this sounds familiar this morning, consider the types of people you should let go of for the sake of your own happiness. Friends, there are many kinds of toxic people, but here I want to share five of them. The ones who get to say, let's get together soon but never follow through, never show up, never get together with you. In our lives, we make time for what's important to us. If someone isn't making an effort to spend time with you face to face, you're not that important to them. That's that's a, 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 a harsh reality, but you should stop making excuses for them and why they never seem to follow through with their plans. Instead, focus on strengthening your relationships with the people who go out of their way and make the effort to be part of your life. My friends, number two, the ones uh, who are always uh, one-upping you. In other words, always want to be better than you. If you get a uh, promotion, they get a new job. If you go on a great date, they get engaged. If you uh, get a parking ticket, they tell you how horrible it was to get one time, uh, one time, ten years ago, when they crashed in their car and and almost died, their birthday is the uh, is more important than your birthday, according to them. If someone can't be happy for you, 
without throwing in their two cents about their own achievement or how they struggled, their struggles are worse than yours, then they shouldn't be in your life. It's that simple, plain and simple. Number three, the ones who can't be trusted, the ones that cannot be trusted. Trust is key to any relationship and the one uh, uh, the ones it is lost, uh, it can be, be nearly never recovered. It can nearly never be found again. People who are always gossiping to you uh, are probably also uh, sharing things you said in confidence. My friends, while it is possible to maintain relationships with these people by sharing less and knowing anything you say to them will likely be repeated, it's probably best to just steer clear of them You'll never really know if they're being honest with you or not. Number four on my list is the ones who don't support you. Think about the ones that don't support you. You have to surround yourself with people who are there for you in good times and in bad times. People who abandon you when times get uh, tough are not worth your attention. Someone who can't be happy for you in your successes or help you out when something goes wrong is not, and I repeat, is not someone uh, you need or want in your life. That plain and simple. Number five, the ones who are always the victim. These people are always making uh, excuses for their circumstances. Nothing is ever their fault. They have probably blamed you in the past for their mistakes and are constantly claiming the world is against them. And number, uh, well, that was number five. So part of being an adult is knowing when you messed up, taking responsibility for your actions and doing your best to make up for your mistake. That is part of growing up. If someone never owns up to anything, they, uh, then they will never probably uh, change. And you should just move forward in your life without them at this juncture. One of the joys of being human is that we don't have to be perfect to be one of the good ones. At some point, we all make stupid decisions, hurt the people we love, say things that are hard to take back and to push hard to get uh, 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 our way. None of that makes us toxic, makes us human. It makes us human beings. We mess things up, we grow, and we learn. Toxic people are totally different, my friends. They never learn. They never self-reflect, and they don't care who they hurt along the way. Toxic behavior is a habitual way of responding to the world and the people in it. Toxic people are smart, but they have the emotional intelligence of a pen lid. It's no accident that they choose those who are open-hearted, generous and willing to work hard for any relationship. With two non-toxic people, this is the foundation for something wonderful. But when toxic behavior is involved, it's only a matter of time before that open heart becomes a broken one at that. If you're in any sort of relationship with someone who is toxic, chances are you've been bending and flexing for a while to try to make it work stop. Just stop right now. You can only change the things that are open to your influence and toxic people will never be one of them. I promise you that. Friends, call me at 844-405-HELP because together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Always be good to uh, other people. And remember that old lady that I talk about all the time, that old man living right next door to you? A simple smile to them this morning can change their lives forever and can even change your life. Stay away from the toxic people, surround yourself with positive people, and remember God loves you this early morning and all day long. May God bless you, and we will talk to you guys real soon. God bless you.